Hi, I'm Brian Acuesta. I'm a technology teacher here at Lufkin Road Middle School and the robotics coach, and we are going to the World's Tournament in Louisville, Kentucky. And the students, they compete against locally 24 other teams here in Wake County, and we got a chance to go to the state tournament in Charlotte, North Carolina, where the kids did magnificent. They, during qualifications mat matches, went 7-0 and and seeded first for the t um, tournament at the state championship, and then um, we ended up losing in the semifinals. But all in all, they came out with an excellence award, which is based on the skills of the robot and their design book. And the students, because of winning that excellence award, have won the opportunity to attend the VEX Worlds Tournament in Louisville, Kentucky in April. Like what we do with the balls is, obviously as you saw, we um, take them and we shoot, we most likely try to get them in the high net, which is um, like a main source of our points because it's five points in the high goal, but in the low goal, it's only uh, one. Um, Vex Robotics, that's the company that, that has the equipment and they put out a new game every year. This year's game is nothing but net. Uh, yeah, like me and um, Clay, we figured out like the shooting part and then also I helped with the drivetrain. Nothing's but net's um, strategy is to score um, balls into the net for points or a low goal for points and as well as lifting a partner robot on the field for additional points. At first the shooting was all off and everything and then as like the months went on we figured out new tactics to get the shooting to be more powerful and faster when it releases the ball so it can have a higher accuracy rate when it goes into the net. The students did not follow any kind of manual. They came up with the design themselves to implement a robot which they saw fit would be the best to be able to compete and also be able to work well with an, a, an alliance partner. My role in building the robot is kind of like the structural engineer. Like this lift was kind of modeled by me and my friend Clay. And as you can see, it has two rails right here. It has two stabilizers in the middle. It has two kind of paths where the robot can drive up on it. Originally, the students wanted to just shoot, um, just wanted to um, build a machine that could shoot balls. But then we've kind of come to the realization that we needed to try to get more points. And they wanted to implement a lift system. The lift system is lifting another robot off the field. You have two lifts. The low lift is where you lift the, another robot four inches off the ground, and a high lift is where you lift them 12. A low lift is worth 25 points, and a high lift is worth 50. It's a really, really good engineering experience for the students because they actually get to have a hands-on activity and guess they get to implement their engineering design process and engineering um, standards into physical robots. Yeah, I'm mainly the design journal kind of guy. It took many iterations to get to the point they're at now. Uh, this is the fifth version of this robot. It, is, it looked much different five months ago than it does now. Our first design, we had a huge conveyor belt going up to the, to the wheels and it did not work very well. Early designs of our robot and our shooting. We kept on redesigning it and redesigning it until we finally got the right one. This is um, our motor and it's showing how it turns the gear. And it took us like six or seven times to rebuild the gear ratio right. And when we finally did, we were so happy. We got a lot of the balls into the high goal and we ended up coming fourth place in that competition. They end up problem solving throughout the whole process, learning how to overcome um, issues that come about, problems, whether it's um, mechanical or coding. There's a lot of challenges for the students throughout the process and it takes a group effort, effort for them to um, complete the task. And